What do I do after installing a new version of Unreal Engine? The first things that I'm gonna do is make some little changes to make the editor easier to read. I'm gonna go to the console command text box and type this. When I press enter, the entire editor will change the language. Unreal works well with quite a few languages, but I find it easier to work in English. The next thing is to increase the size of the text. Let's go to Edit, Editor Preferences, and then change the application scale. It's going to be much easier to read the text, and I will be able to avoid straining my eyes. Because we made the text bigger, it's very probable that the toolbar will not fit all the buttons. And you will need to click here to be able to access all the options in this editor. To avoid this problem, we can go back to the editor preferences. And here, let's just enable the option Use Small Toolbar Icons. This way, the text will disappear. And if you're already used to the editor, then you're not gonna have much problem using this simplified toolbar. The second most important thing that I do after installing the engine is arranging the windows to my liking. Depending on how you're using the engine, you're gonna have different needs. Here in Window, you have many options that you can add to the editor. If you need the panel to be docked somewhere in the engine, you can just do it. If you made a mistake, you can go to Window, and in the Load Layout option, you can load the default editor layout. If you made a change that you would like to save, go back to Window, Save Layout, and save layout as, and just give it a name, and when you use Unreal again, you can load it, and it will appear here in the user layout section. You can also import layouts from other users. Because I'm a programmer, what I will be using here in Tools will be Debug, Blueprint Debugger, in Window, Output Log, and Window again, Message Log. Now, I'm going to set up my own window with these three panels. And I'm going to put it in my second screen. Finally, in the editor you can configure a lot of shortcuts. And it's going to be very important that you learn a few of them. Among the most useful shortcuts is Ctrl P. This opens the Open Asset menu. Here, you can search any asset that exists in your project. If I want to search an animation for this character, I just need to search for its name, Gadget. And all the results will be related to this character. If I need something more specific, I can just type Animation. Here we can find a map and other animation assets like the Aim Offset. But if I'm only searching for animation sequences, Adding the needed text will filter anything that is not an animation sequence. You can do the same in the content drawer by using the filters inside of it. You click here, search for a filter that you need, and there you have it. With these tips, I hope that you can improve your experience inside the Unreal Engine editor. And please share in the comments if you have a useful tip that I have not mentioned in this video. If this video was useful to you, give it a like, share it, subscribe, and become a member. And I will see you in the next video. If you want to improve your game development skills, make sure to check out our on-demand courses for free. You can watch them and get high-quality free education. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check out our UNF game development program, where you will create a game from scratch and publish it on Steam.